and we're on we're on different playing fields. You know what I'm saying? It's it's different. It's different. We on whole we in whole different realms when it mm-hmm. comes to shit like that. You know what I mean? You talking about somebody that got on the subway with a you know what I mean with a handgun with a pistol and just you know what I mean start shooting random people. Not saying that one is better than the other mm-hmm. or right. one is more. You know what I mean? Not saying that. But, but this mo- these motherfuckers we move with different. different. Exactly. They like you talking about an 18 year old kid that went somewhere and bought an assault rifle and ammo and the person that he bought it from was like, oh well, I just I don't know, I didn't think anything of it. He looks like a good kid. You think No, that's not what I one think. of our one of one of our teenage sons, you know what I'm saying, gonna go gonna go walking somewhere and try to buy a, an assault rifle and ammo and ain't nobody gonna say nothing? Like, nah, that ain't happening. He was on social media, he was on you know I'm saying they have reports of, of this kid, you know, they saying like he he he's following certain things, he's following white supremacist mm-hmm. stuff, he's doing this, he's doing that, like and they knew this and nobody said nothing. If that was one of our kids, he out of here. Yeah. As mm-hmm. soon as you post something, they on you. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. so I don't want to hear that shit. We playing on different fields. He's getting walked into the police car. He's getting, you know what I'm saying? He's getting taken care of. He's getting comfy seats and shit like that. We're dying. We're dying without any of that happening. That's I per, that's I perfectly understand that part. But I'm talking about a different kind of playing field. I'm, the playing field I'm talking about is while we out here shooting each other, uh, you know, just picking up random guns, just shooting each other and don't really, don't really, not really hit each other, but you know, it, it end up hitting somebody else. For, you're not even hitting an intended target. Yeah, yeah, most of the time. Most of the time, yeah, they they they're not even hitting an intended target. They're hitting some fucking five year old child or some shit like that. Yeah. yeah. My point is, these motherfuckers move different because at five years old, they're they training trained. their children to they know how trained. to shoot. They being trained. Training in every sort: shotgun, assault rifle, handgun. They're training them early. Mm-hmm. That's what I said to uh, wifey when I saw that shit. I said, you know what the end of the story, the, the end of the day it goes to? You look at those parents. What's happening at home that that kid thinks like that? Oh, I, I know absolutely. I know for sure he didn't learn all that hate for black people that much just from like the internet or something like that. Those parents had to like drill that into he just took it to the next level. Right. I know for sure they didn't want him to go shoot up people, but they might was in there talking those conversations around him and that's what he started looking towards. No, right. you're right. Just like you said, his parents like know about that stuff, and like you said, they, he's they've been posting stuff on his social media. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so the family members or whoever who see all that stuff don't nobody. Like you said, they're responsible. Like, right? cause n- nobody noticed that. Nobody said. Nobody says anything about that. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, why you? Nobody question that. Like, why you posting that stuff? You should oh, take that stuff down. Yeah. That's not right. That's wrong. You shouldn't be doing things like that. Like, is anybody saying? I, if it, I doubt it though. The seed is definitely planted at I home. I doubt it. That's what that's what it all starts. Yeah, that's course, what all yeah. starts. But not here's the wrong with that shit. Right. But here's the here's the point I'm trying to make. I'm not everybody that's that's understandable. Everybody knows that. But the point I'm trying to make is we need to start moving like them. As far as learning tactical shit like how to use this since you want to use weapons to kill each other, why don't you learn how to actually use the shit then? Since you want to use it all the time, learn how to shoot. Yeah. Go to a, go to a range. Learn how to shoot. Figure out how the shit work. Because they do. Right. Because if some shit jump off, like they always say, some shit jump off, they're trained and ready. We're not. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's the point I'm trying to get across. And I think as far as from, from a, you know, just from a standpoint of ability and availability, you know, it's a lot easier for them to train their kids to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you talking about the cats, the cats that's out here, that's 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 in the hood, that's that's shooting at each other and all of that. Is it, it is it is it easier to train? Because it is here, New York, California. It's hard as hell to get a gun. It is everywhere else. You can walk right into a store, get your own gun, and people live in rural areas where you can just go in the backyard and learn how to shoot. Right. So but, is it? But how many? Black